the Pella Police Department has been tr busy training on self-defense techniques. When we do police training, what we have to do is we have to not only validate the training, meaning um, is it the right training to give and, and do we have uh, the expertise to offer or teach this. The second thing we need to make sure with training is um, that we document what the training was and who was there and what training was learned. And so sometimes in order to do that you have to uh, give a written exam to make sure that what you taught was not only learned but retained by your officers. This is our third month in this new grappling ground program. Uh, we, we train two hours a month. What we hope to do at some point in the very near fu uh, future is to make that two two-hour sessions a month. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. You know, I've been a defensive tactics instructor since 2004. I've been practicing jiu-jitsu for quite a while now and what I see is very typical. You get a new student in here who really doesn't know anything about ground defense or grappling and a lot of times in just a few short uh, sessions and segments um, you see that improvement and they get excited and enthused about learning more and then it just progresses and keeps building and building and what this really is it's about controlling subjects it's not about hurting anybody it's not about uh, uh, you know necessarily defending from the fight it's about controlling subjects who are offering a level of resistance to us to get them under control safely securely minimizing the injury and risk to the officer uh, but also minimizing the risk and injury to the subject as well. You know, we live in a great town, you know, mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of great support in our citizens, and with that be, you know, comes the fact that we don't have to use a lot of force. Uh, our citizens are generally law-abiding, and, and when they make a mistake, what I've found uh, is that they generally go with the program, they're compliant, and that's mm -hmm. what we want. We, we want to seek compliance above anything else, and it is rare uh, that we have to use any level of force, but the propensity is always there, and as professionals, we have to make sure that we're giving our officers the tools, the time, and the training to make sure that when uh, uh, presented with that difficult situation, they have the skill to move through it uh, and to, to move through it safely and effectively. I really, really look forward to not only training our folks um, on a monthly basis, I've gotten a lot of interest from other surrounding agencies. Some have sent their officers to the class. We didn't have any here today. I do expect some in two weeks. But um, really to just kind of push this message out that we really need to focus more on controlling our subjects and not just resorting to, to less than lethal strikes, batons, tasers. There's more that we can do uh, to help safely and, and securely do our jobs. Thank you to Chief McSheehy and his officers for allowing us to sit in on the training.